In this video, we're going to talk about the input function in Python. So one thing to note that if the input function is called in Python, it's actually going to stop the program flow until the user has entered a response to that prompt. So basically, in the example we're going to walk through, the prompt will be, what's your name? And the user is going to type in their name. So until they type in the answer and hit the return key, the program flow will be stopped. All right, so I have the Jupyter Notebook open, and we can quickly walk through an example of the input function. If we type in name equals input, and in parentheses we put in quotations, what's your name, with a space after the quotation mark, and we run that code, it asks, what's your name? And I'm going to go ahead and type in Kate. And I'm going to click Enter. The next line of code, we're going to say print, nice to meet you, and then we're going to add a space, and then a quotation, a plus name, plus, and then um, in quotes we can do an exclamation point. And we're going to go ahead and run that. And it says, nice to meet you, Kate. So the code worked really well. Basically, this was the input bar. We could have put any other name in there, and it would have said, nice to meet you and whatever that name input that you had. You can follow the hashtag dedicatedpython to keep in touch with all other content around programming and Python.